Dividing fractions. Here we have two examples in which you need to divide one fraction by another. Both the fractions here are proper fractions, i.e. the number at the top is not bigger than the number at the bottom. The very first thing you need to do is flip over the second fraction. 3 fifths then becomes 5 over 3. The second thing you need to do is change this division sign in the middle into a multiplication sign. So this division question then becomes 2 thirds multiplied by 5 over 3. Now you can continue with this question as if it was a multiplication question. We cannot cancel down any of the numbers, so we simply multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators together. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 3 is 9. Now this is an acceptable answer, but it's better that you write it as a mixed fraction. How many 9s are there in 10? 1. And what we have left over is 1. So the remainder is 1 over 9. Your final answer for this question is then 1 and 1 ninth. A similar method can be used for the second question here. First thing you need to do is flip over the second fraction into its reciprocal and convert the division sign in the middle into a multiplication sign. So this question then becomes 5 over 21 multiplied by 24 over 15. Now in this particular example, there is plenty of cancelling down to be done. The 5 and the 15 both divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. Similarly, you can now divide the 21 and the 24 here by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 24 divided by 3 is 8. We cannot cancel down any further, so we now need to multiply across. 1 times 8 is 8. 7 times 3 is 21. This answer is perfect, as the number is already a proper fraction. We do not need to convert it into a mixed number of any sort.